in, in dangerous conditions. So the insurance on those gonna be through the roof. The premiums on those gonna be through the roof. So man, I have a question. So what about these guys? The a, the portion of the community that has spent a lot of money purchasing these big ships, like your your javelins, your Idrisids, as a solo player. <laughs> you know, like, what are they going to do? Like, you, let's say you own an Idris, right? You're a solo player, you own an Idris. You have to yeah. play the game and grind for the next five years to be able to afford to run your ship. How is that going to work? Well, some of the packages have life I mean, insurance though, right? How is that going to work out? Does yeah, they, they have lifetime insurance. They have lifetime insurance. But in terms of like, let's say you lose it, your premium that you have to pay, like whole armor is saying. Imagine the premium on an Idris. <laughs> right. You know? You, 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 you got to You got to pay to play, right? So, so you you have to scale up to your lifestyle, right? So like, yeah, I could put any one of us in, into a home, a eight, nine bedroom home, a 10 bedroom home. Mm -hmm. I could give you the keys right now, Faze. Mm -hmm. I can give you the keys to, to a 16 bedroom mansion and say, this is your house. Right. But you could live in it for a time, but can right. you afford the upkeep? You got more lights. You got you're burning more electricity. Mm -hmm. You got to heat it. You got to air condition it. Right. You see, you got to pay for the landscaping because it has to look a certain way because it's in a certain neighborhood. Right. Can you afford it? Can you afford to live in it? Do your bank account match it? You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. Now, people with with these javelins and stuff like that and these big ships, well. There's nothing wrong with having them, but mm. the rude awakening is going to be is like, well, when you start off into the game, this is the amount of money you're going to start off with. Mm. Now, it's not just so much as the money. That's just one thing. It's the reputation that you have to build. It's the relationships that you have to build with mm. NPCs, NPC factions. You see, you have to be develop relationships with the uh the 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 different space so then that's mm -hmm. when the ai the npcs will begin to look at you and then say okay they interview you and see your criteria match up and say okay i would like to have a job right but you have to be able to match the income you got to match the, the the income you have to match the reputation to be able mm -hmm. to hire these NPCs and be able to pay these NPCs and you and have the, the dollar amount in your bank account to be able to maintain the upkeep for these large ships. In the beginning, man, when, when they make when they make Star Citizen Star Citizen mm -hmm. and everybody is on equal playing field, they're going to do this. Rest assured, they're going to do this. Mm -hmm. You want to get that javelin up off the ground? Well, you're going to have to work hard to get 10 million credits <laughs> into your bank account. <laughs> and you're going to have to earn some form of a reputation for NPCs to want to work with you so that you can right. hire them. You see? Right. Because uh, Hello? Yeah, yeah, so uh, no, I was reading uh, Gustavo's uh, comment. He said another mm -hmm. thing is we don't know how much we're going to make after the game launches. Like how hard will it be to make one meal, 10 meal harder True. than today? I suppose. Yes. Good point. Yes. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's because it's, one, one, you have to move to the beat of the economy. The economy is the driving force. It, it will determine what we can do and what we can't do. It'll, right. it'll also determine who we do business with and who we don't do business with. You see what I'm saying? You, 
when you when you living in a space game and you're trying to earn a living and you're trying to earn your livelihood and stuff like that, you can be successful in one mission, right? And then do another mission and totally and totally bomb. Mm-hmm. You see, you can you can be successful in a mission that that paid you five hundred grand, mm-hmm. and you can go and do a similar mission to that and totally bomb. Right. And you you can you can or or you can go one mission and be successful and, and, and make and make a hundred grand, twenty grand, fifty grand, and then you can go to one mission and only make four grand, depending on where you go, depending on what you do. Your right. dollar amount and how you earn money is not gonna be the same because different economies and different star systems are gonna pay different. When you're dealing right. with uh, NPCs and when you're dealing with players, they're going to be able to adjust their prices. Just like, for take for example, if, um, for example, we have the new Starfarer that has mm-hmm. the ability to sell its fuel, right? Players will have the ability to adjust their prices based on on their their price and how much they paid for the fuel. Right. Will ultimately. Uh, determine how much they sell it to you for, right? So one right. one fueler, he 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 sells you the fuel. He sells you a full fuel at a reasonable price. Well, right. the ne- other guy over at Crusader, he's fueling up too, but he he charges you up the wazoo, ten percent right. more, twenty percent more. You know, right. or if you go to if you go to Pyro and get fuel where he's in a hazardous situation so he's gonna he's gonna attack on hazard pay so he's gonna charge double right see so when you your the way you the way you earn your money is not gonna be a fixed thing right and then you gotta you gotta tie in reputation the more reputation you get ideally you're supposed to get paid more but what mm-hmm. if the mission giver be like, well, hey, I'm sorry, I got nothing for you today, but I got this one mission that pays you. You're you're in neat, neat status. You got the highest rank, but mm-hmm. he only offers you a mission that only pays you a thousand bucks. You got to take it. You got to take it. You want to make money. Right. You got to make money. You, you, you. you the bills don't stop coming. True. And and another thing, your your cost of living. Chris Roberts wants the cost of living to fluctuate up and fluctuate down based on the economy. If there's a war situation going on, well, you know the cost of living is going to go up because that's war time. The, 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 the factions and the government require higher taxes to pay for the war efforts. So food is going to cost more. The cost of living is going to cost more. Gas prices are going to go up, just like in real life. This is this right. is this is Tony Zervik. Tony Zervik is responsible for the economy, and they're working on bringing this type of uh, uh, economy into the game because that's going to ultimately determine how we operate and how we behave as Star Citizen. Right. And what it is that you'll be able to do, and what you will be not be able to do you have that big beautiful javelin sitting there ready to go you got all your weapons on it you got your mm-hmm. weapons on it you got all your best components on it got the best shield mm-hmm. components but guess what you can't get that joke up off the ground because your money is funny <laughs> you ain't making the same true. amount of money you was a month ago true so you can't so you 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 can't you, you can't uh uh get it up off the ground because you can't afford to hire a, a engineer right and, and what and and they gonna have the ability they're gonna have the ability check this out now rest assured it is too CIG is gonna reserve the right to play around with the NPCs and make NPC shortages so the demand right. for NPCs to work on your ship is going to be higher. So right. now when you come across an NPC to work aboard your ship, he's going to come at a premium. Right. You're going to have to pay him top dollar. 
because right. he knows that he's in high demand. Right. All of that is coming. I'm Damn. telling you, all Damn. of this is coming. <laughs> all of this is coming. This Damn. is the type of where Chris Roberts said, living, breathing universe. He meant what he said. Right. It's going to be deep, man. It's going to be deep, man. That's that's what I'm looking for, man. That's what, that's what I pledge for, bro. That's what I pledge for, man. That's, hey, check this out. This is That's the exact same words I said to Lex earlier today. I said, mm -hmm. this is what we pledge for in the beginning. When Chris Roberts made that statement, that opening statement, he said the, he laid it out. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't mess around with it. He said, this is what I want to do. I want to create a universe where I have an idea where everybody in here do this, 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 and this, and this is how you do it. And we have a risk versus reward situation where everything you do is a calculated decision. You're going to have to think twice before you pick that mission. See how phase is, is running through those list of missions. It's going to come a time where he's going to be like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> gotta think about it is it worth it, <laughs> it is you know it worth it? <laughs> wait a minute hold up let me let me let me read this real carefully let me pull out my glasses and my magnifying <laughs> let me bro. pull out my thesaurus and dictionary my engines sure. are on fire bro i'll be nervous right now <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know yeah. what i'm saying this, this is this is coming gentlemen this is coming nice, this nice, is coming nice. Exciting stuff, man. Honestly, man. It's exciting stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. Being able to pay, like, we we simulate this. It's not really necessary in game, mm -hmm. but if, uh, I, I don't know, for, for those who don't know, there is an app on your mobile glass. If uh if Faze can show it whenever he get time, there is an app on your mobile glass where you can use it to play to pay real players money for jobs that they do oh, right, on your right, ship. Right, 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 for yeah. for example, me and Lex, the other gentleman that's in Discord with us, me and him was teaming up together on board my constellation. Mm -hmm. And we role played as me being the captain and yeah, the other uh, traitor, yeah. And I was the captain and he was my deckhand. He was mm -hmm. my crew member. And I had it set up to where whenever we do missions, I share my missions with him and I also paid him a salary. Right. You see? And I don't pull the out trigger for free. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And did did I pay you, Lex? Yes, you did. I paid him. I paid yeah. him as a crew member on board my ship. I didn't have to do that, but the fact right. that we had the ability to do that, I said, why not? Let us let us work as a crew. Let us work as a team. I'm captain. He's my crew member. Let me pay him. So that mm -hmm. way, he was able to earn a living. He was able to. Uh, uh, build up enough revenue to get the ships that he wanted to uh, get in game because mm -hmm. he had a job you see so right. that's the type of stuff that's that's coming that's the type of stuff that we're gonna have to do because when you I've always had when I first back the game when I first back Star Citizen I always had a dream to, to be a crew member on board somebody's ship to earn a living. I, I didn't mind starting mm -hmm. from the very bottom and work my way up. Even right. though I have a fleet full of ships, I right. was like, yeah, that's 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 cool and all, but I'm like, no, let me work my way up to that. You right. see? Right. I didn't want to even want to start in Aurora. I wanted to start as a crew member. A crew member. And earn as that, a crew that, member that'll be awesome. That'll to be get awesome. paid. So then I, I can role play it as I'm learning the ropes. Yeah. I'm under the wing of a captain. The captain is showing me the way. I can learn the right. business. Then I can go into business for myself. I can branch off for myself. And what he taught me, I can teach either a player or, or another NPC. 
right i can go into business and then as i as i grow now i formed a good relationship with my captain so now we got trust so he can call upon me if he needs anything and I can call upon him if I need anything so now we have an alliance so now we have a fleet now we can go into business together because he right. helped me now I can help him you see right. what I'm saying so right. yeah so that's what me and Lex was doing and, and you be able to pay your NPC just the exact same way as you play, pay a player right 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 and I can role play. I have seventeen kids. <laughs> <laughs> you, you up to eighteen? Well, you you needed that job because you had seventeen kids to feed. I needed that job. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> oh man, yeah, man, it's uh, bro. To be honest, like I I have the same um inkling too. I want I want to be able to do that, like. I think I will probably have a second character in the game where I will you will literally have nothing, you know, yeah. probably just one game package and that's it, you know, and just work my way up. And I think that's when you'll get the full experience when you start like that. I don't want to start with my character. I don't want to start with my MSR. I want to work my way up and earn an MSR and the grind to even get an MSR, you know, the struggle to get it. You know, it, it amplifies your willingness to make sure that that thing stays healthy. That thing stays in good shape. Now, you know, uh, right? now, um, phase one. Mm. I'm always telling you about the role play. But what I'm going to tell you, I just bought a, a, a 600i. I grind oh, for you? it. Nice. Yeah, I did. I bought it nice. in game. Nice. nice now, nice, remember nice. when you first met me, right? I barely had a million bucks. Right, right, right. That's because I, I'm not worth role playing and what I didn't mind. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I earned it. I grind for it. Right. You know, right. everything that I was taught by my captain. You know what I'm saying? I grind right. to earn it. Right. You know? Right. And it wasn't easy too, and I didn't want it to be easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. exactly. I don't want it. I didn't want it to be easy. You know, it, it makes it so much like the adventure, you know, the, the, the adventure, you know, what the experience of getting there is that's, that's the whole, that's the intent. That's the whole experience. Really. That's the fun part, you know, right. what you went and through to get to, to get there, yep. you know, and keep in mind, right. I've been playing mm -hmm. this game for about maybe eight years or so. Mm hmm. 